What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the 16th stage of the Tour de France between Nîmes and Nîmes, uh, the last chance for the sprinters to perform well before the Champs-Élysées. We're still sad of the GC with Romain Bardet if you haven't seen uh, the previous episodes and want to know how we did that then please go ahead and check the previous videos. We're also leading the mountain classification with Alexis Goujar and the points classification with Romain Bardet. Um, sprint stage. Uh, again, if it's your first time watching, you probably are wondering how on earth I'm going to do that. Um, I've got a slight tactic with m which might like work. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to defeat Hunnewegen, Kalabuen uh, and all them lot in Nîmes. But without further ado, let's just jump in the video and uh, jump in the race, sorry. And uh, see what we can do. It's a sunny day as we leave Nîmes uh, for 180 kilometers before rejoining the uh, the start town, a town known uh, known sorry for uh, its arenas uh, and stuff related to uh, the Basque Country. Uh, Alex Kujá is already leading the way in the peloton. We're not going to send him in the breakaway. Uh, we'll send someone though in the breakaway just in case uh, it appears to be a. Uh, a breakaway that goes until the end of the race. Uh, we're going to send Matthias Frank in the breakaway. Yeah, not the best sprinter, but I mean, he'll do the job. Uh, and also, if I can get the points for the mountain classification, that would be nice to avoid, like, Mikael Valgren from getting another point, uh, even though he's not that dangerous anymore. Okay. Where's Yamos? He's there. Where's Bardet? Bardet's there. Okay. So, um, we're just going to wait until we have an actual viable breakaway and uh, as soon as we do then it's it's Gucci All right uh, our strategy changed a bit we still have someone in the breakaway it's not Matthias Frank anymore the peloton just never let him go uh, we then have Tom Schoens in the breakaway who's already had a win uh, no he's got a second place and he's doing a very solid Tour de France the, um, the Latvian champion he's joined by Luis Leon Sanchez and Marco Halla from uh, Cotucha Alpessine and then following him you have a group of three riders with Pierre-Luc Perrichon, Nikas Arndt and Alexis Viermoz. 30 seconds behind is the German Simon Geschke but uh, he appears to be struggling even though the junction has been done um, above him so maybe the rhythm will slow down and will uh, allow the um, former winner of Pralou of the Tour 2016 to, um, to come back in the main group. Okay, we're one kilometer away from the intermediate sprint. Uh, we're gonna sprint in the peloton with Romain Bardet to try and get some points. Because um, I know there's still points available to, be, to the taking. I'm surprised that no one is sprinting. Like, that's. That surprised me. Like, where are the Ronnevigans? The Vivianis? Is Ronnevigan still in the race? Wait. I'm pretty sure he is, though. I'm pretty certain he is. Yeah, he is. Um, okay. Oh, wait, that only get one point. No, surely I got more. Okay, I don't know. Um, wait, no, I got, I got 8 points, okay. We're doing well with Romain. Romain is doing very well for the GC, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry for the, um, the point certification. I'm just gonna show you right now. Um, so we're now on 293. We're 130 points ahead of Dylan Ronnevegan. So, mathematically speaking, we haven't won the jersey. But, technically speaking, there's no way... Hunnevegan will come back. The only one that could maybe try and come back would be Nazin. Alejandro Valverde, uh, if he becomes like the best rider in the world. Because he had to win, he'd have to win like nearly every stage to come back. And we are on the only climb of today's race, La Côte de Saint-Jean-du-Pin. It's a fourth category climb. It's not going to be a hard one. I'm just like going to try and defend from Tom Schoens to avoid to, uh, to like prevent him from uh, getting another point. For the mountain classification, even though he's probably not the uh, dangerous, like the most dangerous person now uh, in the peloton. Alexi Yamos, less than one kilometer to go. Uh, I think Toms is going to attack. No. There we go. There's the attack from Tom Schoens. Uh, might be a bit late on my reaction times. Yep. Uh, so Tom Schoens is going to get one point. Okay, well, he's now on, 30, on 24. I'm still worried about Warren Bargill. And Richie Port. Garen Thomas, obviously, but I mean, it's, it's Garen Thomas, like, what do you expect? I think if Bardet could get it, that would be peak, but um, I'm not confident. Okay, there's been a sli uh, slight crash in the peloton. 
with Mikel Landa, Enric Mas, Dries Devenance and Nero Quintana. Um, it, actually, they're going to struggle to come back. They're really going to struggle to come back. Um, Mas might lose the white jersey, or like lose some time for the white jersey, on a on a crash. And that's quite sad. Mikel Landa can say the same, because like, Quintana and Devenance will die at one point. Okay, uh, there's been an attack up ahead. Nikes Arndt and Marco Halla. Do I bother? No, the breakaway is not going to win. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you in about 15, 20 kilometers, I guess. Okay, we've just managed to come on the break. Mad. To come back on the breakaway, Nikes Arndt and Marco Halla are done. Um, 14 kilometers remaining, as we're now in the uh, slight hill before the finish line, the last uh, actual tough part for uh, the pure sprinters. We're still pacing with uh, Michael Scherel, Bruno Cosnefroy, Tony Galopin, Oliver Nazan, and Romain Bardet. That's going to be our train. It's the usual train. I just swapped Galopin and Cosnefroy um, for like pure fitness reasons. Wellens is absolutely crazy right now the front with Tish Benoit, which would make sense considering that Michael Landa and Henrik Mass are still dropped. Uh, well, mainly Henrik Mass in uh, um, the concerns of Tish Benoit uh, because he's currently. Uh, becoming the new white jersey of the Tour de France. Um, I mean, fair play to the lad. He he's strong, to be honest. He's he's having a good strong, like a good Tour de France. Eight kilometers remaining. I may have faced a bit too early uh, with Michael Charel. Let's be uh, let's, let's be real here, because Benoît Cosnefroy is meant to be the guy who launches the sprint for me. Uh, wait, can I get can I get Alexis Gougeard to like maybe come and do uh, a slight run at the front? Let's see. Eight, uh, sorry, five kilometers left. We're gonna use the gel. Yes, Kusnefroy is gonna take the wheel of Alexis Goujar. Absolute legend, Alexis. Brilliant stuff. There's a left hander. There's another left hander, and I'm gonna guess maybe it's now a straight line towards the finish in Nîmes. There's been a massive crash in the peloton. Ala Philippe has been brought uh, caught up in the incident. Same goes for uh, Greg Van Avermaet. Kusnefroy has launched the sprint. Galopin in his wheel. Followed will by um, Oliver Nazen and Ken, Ken Nazen or Roman Bardet fight, fight for something today. The win in Nîmes is for Peter Sagan who wins ahead of Oliver Nazen, Roman Bardet, Caleb Ewan, Alexander Kristoff, Kwiatkowski, Viviani, Matthews, Kurt Nelson and Jasper Stoyven. I'll take that, I'll take that, I really, really will take that. Rune Wigan is completely dead. Um, what happened to the, like, the guys who crashed? Uh, where's, wait, let, let's, let's pose this for a sec. Where's Julian Philippe? Has he crossed the line? Okay, he's there, so he's gonna be in the exact same second as everyone else. It's the first win on this Tour de France for the Beast. Uh, Peter Sagan usually winning everything, um, not having the best season, and that just shows in this Tour de France he's not having the best Tour de France either. He's still gonna get at least a win for Bora Hansgrohe in Nîmes ahead of Oliver Nazen and Romain Bardet. Um, Gary Thomas keeps the uh, yellow jersey, he's still ahead of Nibeli, Valverde, Fugelsong, sorry, Nibeli, Barde, Valverde, Fugelsong, Pino, Molema, Kutkowski, Krovac, and Yates. Um, the only things that must have changed is Landa and, um, what's his name, Enric Mas, dropping uh, X amount of position. Alexis Goujar is still in Polkador jersey, that's logical. Barde is now with 313 points, nearly assured to bring the jersey home. Um, like even it's going to be tough even for Nazan now to overtake him. So I think we're good on that side. The white rider, the white rider, sorry, the um, white jersey is now led by Tish Benoit, who is three minutes ahead of Henrik Mas. So the battle is now going to be between Henrik Mas and Egan Bernal, who's making a slight comeback towards the end. Um, team Ineos is still the best team nonetheless. Interesting stage uh, between Nim and Nim. Um, I was expecting the sprinters to do a bit better today. Um, Calabian 4th, Viviani 7th, mainly, mainly, um, where is he? Ronewegen 42nd. That's not good at all for someone who wanted to fight for the green jersey. But Peter Sagan gets his first win on this Tour de France. Uh, Bardet gets 28 points for the points jersey, that's all good. Is Peter Sagan even in the top? Peter Sagan has 80 points, so before that stage he had what? Like maybe one second place and that was it. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like down below, that would really help me out. Also make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, not to miss a single episode uh, as we approach the end of this Tour de France. 
hit the bell to get notified of whenever I upload. If you want to play with the database I'm using, the link is in the description down below as well. It's the world DB. And um, yeah, I'll be by, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same channel for Pont du Gard Gap. I've been Black War. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. But the mother man ain't feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.